You've spent hours testing your expert advisor, refining every single parameter, but trades are missing, delays are happening, and profits aren't what you expected whatsoever. It might not be your strategy. It might not be your expert advisor. It could be your VPS setup. So let's talk about this. In the next few minutes, I will walk you through everything you need to know about your virtual private server, VPS. And most importantly, how to avoid the hidden traps that can cripple your trading setup due to a very poor VPS performance. In this video, we'll answer very important questions like how to choose a VPS provider without overpaying? What are the main criteria to consider while selecting a package of a VPS provider? Why do I need to choose a server location while choosing a VPS package? Let's begin with why a VPS even matters in the world of algo trading. Most algorithmic traders I meet are idealists. They will spend weeks optimizing their strategies, but treat VPS selection like an afterthought. I get it, it feels a bit technical and boring. But here is the thing, the most flawless expert advisors in the world is useless if the machine running it stutters. And that's why today's topic matters more than most algo traders realize. If you're serious about expert advisors, you know they need stable, constant uptime with no interruptions whatsoever. Running your expert advisor from a home computer is extremely risky. You could experience power outages, sleep mood, Wi-Fi issues, and any of these can break your strategy without any warning. We talked about this in depth in my previous video, link in the description. A VPS removes that uncertainty. It gives you a stable 24 by 7 environment to run your MetaTrader terminals exactly as intended. Now, let's talk about how to choose a VPS provider. And this is not about the price. You'll see options from $10 to $100 per month. But the real question is, what's under the hood? First is the location. Your VPS servers must be physically close to your broker servers. The closest it is, the lower your latency, and that means faster trade execution. Ask your broker about the server location and make sure that your VPS provider can cater for this server. For example, if your broker servers are located in New York, why would you opt in for a VPS service provider that is located in London? It doesn't make any sense, right? It should be close to New York so that you can provide you with the lowest latency during the execution of your trades, especially if you are a scalper or news traders where you need super fast and efficient execution. Second, reliability. Read reviews. Trustpilot is a very good place to start. Or you know what? Even better, ask your fellow traders within your trading community what they use. Third, customer support. This is non-negotiable. You need 24 by 7 support. Expert advisors don't take weekends off, especially if you're trading crypto, or actually if you need to use your VPS for backtesting or optimization during the weekend. Your VPS support team shall always be available to lend a hand when needed. Now let's talk about how to choose the right VPS package. Remember, a VPS is nothing but a computer in the cloud. So simply put, you are configuring a PC. When you invest in a VPS, you need to look at three main parameters. The first part is CPUs, or what we call it the cores. This is the part that handles all computation, tick processing, indicators calculations, EA logic, and order execution. The more terminals and expert advisors you are operating, the more cores you will need. The second part is the RAMs, which basically stores the active data used by the operating system and the MetaTrader terminals price history, chart data, indicators, EAs, and open trades as well. The third part is the storage, and this is the part that holds your operating system, the MetaTrader installation and EA installation files, the logs, historical tick data, and swap files. Now, if you're running a single terminal with one expert advisor, a light setup will do. This light setup could be one CPU, two gigabytes of RAMs, and maybe 30 gigabytes of storage. This will cost you something between 10 to $15 a month. But if you're managing 10 terminals and 20 EAs at the same time, you might need more power. Maybe 10 cores, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and 150 gigabytes of storage. This would be costing you something between $80 to $100 a month. Once signed up with your VPS provider, they will send you an IP, a username, and a password. You simply open the remote desktop from your PC or Mac, plug in the details, and you're in just like using a regular Windows machine in the cloud. By now, you should have an excellent idea about selecting your VPS provider and the package you will need. I partnered with ForexVPS.net to provide you with a discount when you use my link. Full disclosure, I would get few bucks in commission when you use my link. This helps me provide you with more valuable content in the future. After you're done with selecting and installing your VPS, 
it's time to install and run your expert advisor on. Watch these videos where I show you how to install and run an expert advisor on MT5 step-by-step -step in less than five minutes. See you next week.